In this video, we will review the library of Automation Studio. As you can see, it's separated by category of components. Let's review these categories. We have hydraulic, proportional hydraulic, pneumatic, proportional pneumatic. We have electrical control. These are more to create electro-hydraulic and electro-pneumatic circuit, and we have both standard. North American and European standard. We have the logic gates to create true table. We also have the PLC in which we have three different languages, Allen Bradley, IEC standard and Siemens. The IO interface which is a relay box providing 24 volt DC signal which can trigger hardware equipment directly from Automation Studio. We have the Electrotechnical module, again North American and European standard, to create AC-DC circuits, basic resistive circuit, or up to variable frequency drive circuits. We have the one-line diagram and the HMI control panel. The way the library works is quite easy. When you click on a category, you will have some of the component at the bottom here which are the most common one that we can use. If you cannot find a component here, you can actually go and explore the library by clicking on the plus here, which will open subcategories within hydraulic. As you can see, we have hundreds and hundreds of components in each subcategory. So for example, if we want to go for an actuator, we can select from single acting, double acting, telescopic, brakes, mechanically linked cylinders, uh, we have this fixed displacement motors, variable displacement motor, we have unidirectional, bidirectional, swash plate motors, and others. So when you click on a category, let's say mechanically linked cylinders, we will show these components and you simply drag and drop this component on your drawing and it is ready to be connected. If we explore a different section, let's, let's see if we go to directional valve and then we go to 4-3 way valve. We have only put a couple of models here in the main library because you can customize your own valve. For example, if I take this 4-3 way valve here and I want to change the spool of this valve, I simply double click on the valve and this is where we will create the valve that we want. So you can select from 2 to 10 ports and from 1 to 20 position. Okay? We have to be able to accommodate any kind of needs that customers may have. So it may look a lot for you, but for others it may be what they need. Okay? So let's say we'll keep the 4-3 configuration. But we need to change the spool of this one. We want to have a different center. So we can click twice on the spool. And this will open a spool selection window where we can actually scroll to find spool that we may need. I want this one. I can click twice on it. And you see automatically the valve now has my new spool. Same thing with the command. You can click twice on the command to actually select from different command that you will find in here. Okay, so if you want to have a solenoid valve, for example, you will take this one here, you apply. You can move this wherever you want. It will not affect the simulation. Sometimes valves may have multiple command. Each time you see a question mark, you can add a command on top of it. So let's see if I click here twice. I can also add a manual override on the, the valve. So I can add a lever if I want. So I can click here twice, for example, lever. And you see now I have a solenoid and a mechanical one. So you can create the valve that you want. You can select it back and just erase it to remain with the solenoid. And then if I apl apply, if I close, now we have the new valve that we just created. So the component that you're looking for may not be in the library itself, 
but you can actually create it by a very user-friendly interface. Okay, so let's explore a bit the categories in each one of them. Proportional hydraulic will have some proportional directional valve, pressure control, flow sensors, controller and set point devices. Pneumatic, we have again the most commonly used component in pneumatic as well. We have sequencers, actuators, directional valve. If we go to electrical control, this is where we will find the uh, electrical to create a basic electro pneumatic or electro hydraulic circuit. Okay. All these categories that I'm showing you now, we will create a schematic using each one of them in other videos. Logic gates. We have the regular logic gates for North American and we also have the European standard for logic gates, decoders, flip-flops, counters, input components, output components. If we go to PLC, File and Bradley, for example, we'll have contacts, coys, timer, counters, comparators, math, advanced math, logical file shift, all these elements, which are the same for each different ladder that we have here. The I.O. interface, this is the relay box I was talking to before. With this component, when you energize an output on this box, you will have a 24 volt DC signal on a banana cable, which you can connect to a light, a cylinder valve, anything you want. Electrical technical, this is where we will have the capability of creating like a three phase motor circuit. In here, we have the control section where we have switches, relays, contactors, uh, signalization device. And if you go to power, then we'll have energy source, converters, transformers, a protection device, anything you want to create a three-phase motor circuit, for example, in automation studio. Measuring instrument. Again, all these can be inserted into the drawing to take voltage, amp, uh, frequency, watt meter, so all these can be used in the software. Now if we go to the one line diagram library, it is more to create network of electricity. So let's say you're going to have your 25 kilovolt source and it's more made to troubleshoot a electrical installation on what section to close before you transfer your electricity to another network, let's say. And we have the HMI control panel, which enables you to put switches and button on your drawing to make it more realistic to students to manipulate, okay? So all these modules are available in the educational version of Automation Studio. In another video, we will show you how you can customize this library to limit the number of components that the students will have to choose from, and also to virtualize your hardware equipment that you may have in your classroom. Thank you for your time, and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.